Founded by charter of King George III, the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland was granted the power to be the national training and professional body for surgery in 1784. Before this, surgeons belonged to the same guild as barbers, the Barber's Surgeons Guild, which dated from medieval times. The first RCSI building, completed in 1810, stood on the southern end of this site. Fifteen years later, in 1825, the building was extended, creating the external facade you see before you now. Shortly afterwards, our rooms and halls were among the first in Dublin to be illuminated by the oil gas company. Dissemination and study of medicine and surgical science became our priorities from the early 1800s onwards. And in 1839, three times our CSI president, Richard Carmichael, founded the Medical Association of Ireland. While Arthur Jacob and Henry Mounsell, also former RCSI presidents, published the Dublin Medical Press. The first ever operation conducted under anaesthesia in Ireland was performed by John MacDonnell, the RCSI Professor of Anatomy, while in 1851 Richard Butcher devised the butcher's saw, which became a revolutionary surgical tool. A decade later, in 1865, the first recorded human-to-human -human blood transfusion in Ireland was performed by Robert MacDonnell, another future college president. As the years passed, the building before you also developed, with a laboratory for the study of bacteriology provided in 1890. Electric lighting was introduced in 1891, and five years later, the first use of X-ray technology in Ireland was recorded when R. Bolton McCausland used it to remove a needle embedded in a woman's hand. 1893 saw another first for RCSI, when Emily Winifred Dixon became the first female fellow of any of the Royal Surgical Colleges in these islands. Global war dominated the first half of the 20th century and the demands on the medical profession increased greatly. More than 3,000 Irish doctors served in the military in World War I, half of them linked to RCSI. By the war's end, 240 Irish doctors had lost their lives, prompting the RCSI Roll of Honour to be published in 1918. Meanwhile in Ireland, during the 1916 Rising, Dublin became a battleground in its own right. Seizing key locations across the city, rebels proclaimed an Irish Republic. Taking refuge from British gunfire coming from the nearby Sheldon Hotel, rebels led by Michael Mallon and Pantus Markovich occupied the RCSI building. They held it for six days before surrendering on the street here before you. During the Rising, our surgeons worked across the city, treating casualties from all sides – civilians, rebels, police and soldiers. Two and a half thousand people were injured. Almost 500 were killed. The world was at war again in 1940 when our basement was converted into an air raid shelter for Dublin citizens. As the 20th century progressed, the innovations continued. 1974 saw the first coronary artery bypass in Ireland, performed by RCSI fellow Morris Nelligan at the Matter Hospital. Groundbreaking scientific advances demand new and costly facilities and RCSI faced an existential choice between closing operations or radical expansion. With the appointment of Harry O'Flanagan as registrar, the college embarked on a major redevelopment programme. The new medical school adjoining this building was completed in 1976. As the new millennium approached, the college expanded its healthcare degrees. 
with the opening of the School of Physiotherapy in 1999, and the year 2000 saw the opening of our first clinical research centre on a hospital site at Beaumont Hospital. More than 20,000 patients have visited the centre as part of our research programme to improve treatment for diseases. That same year, we also introduced the world's first online surgical education program. In 2002, the RCSI's School of Pharmacy opened, and the college also expanded its global reach, opening campuses around the world, while contributing to surgical training projects in Africa. Today, over 80 nationalities are represented in our international student body, and RCSI alumni are making a difference in 97 countries around the world. In the last decade, technology has contributed to huge advances in medicine. Surgeons can now operate on patients remotely around the globe using robotics. RCSI remains at the forefront of innovation in healthcare education and is now using virtual reality as part of surgical training. For over 230 years, the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland has stood on this site. We continue today as Ireland's only focused health sciences institution, a world leader in the field, to develop the next generation of healthcare specialists. Our new academic education building, which opens next year on York Street, will feature Ireland's first integrated clinical simulation suite, providing students and trainers with the most advanced, state-of-the-art facilities. This has never been a better time to study at RCSI.